Hey everyone, welcome into this special edition of the American Huddle where we're previewing this year's bowl matchup. Today we're going to talk about the USF Texas Tech matchup. The Bulls are headed back to the Birmingham Bowl. I'm Haley Outen alongside Andy Gresh. I think we have a pretty interesting matchup here, Andy. In the bowl season, we have a defensive-minded coach in Charlie Strong going up against an offensive-minded head coach in Cliff Kingsbury. Yeah, two diametrically opposite people, right? You know, like Charlie Strong, he's the old ball coach. He's rooted in defense, family man. And then you see Cliff Kingsbury, who people think, hey, Mr. Swingin' Bachelor. Everybody loves Cliff Kingsbury. But you're right in terms of the on the field, it's defense versus offense. And we know that Texas Tech has got the ability to sling the ball all over the lot. But both these guys, very familiar with each other because of Charlie Strong's time at Texas. Strong was two and one at Texas against Texas Tech, but he's doing it with a different group of guys and he's doing it playing against this Texas Tech team with a very special quarterback who's got a chance to set some records. Well, let's talk about that quarterback a little bit more. We're pretty sure you've heard his name, Quentin Flowers. Um, he's a senior. He set almost, I think, just about every record that you can in the history books at USF. He wants to go out with a bang as a senior, his last time in that USF uniform. Yeah, and look, you know, Quentin Flowers is also trying to prove to the people in the NFL level that he can play the position or that he has a spot in the league. Pardon me for reading, folks, but when you're talking about Quentin Flowers and all the numbers, you need to. So this is a guy who's already the school record holder with 11,385 yards of offense. He needs 47 more yards to become the American Athletic Conference all-time leader in terms of offensive yards. He needs 44 yards to break Marlon Mack's school record for career rushing yards. If he throws one touchdown pass, which I think he will in this game, Haley, he'll have sole possession of first with 68. He needs 312 passing yards to pass the single season mark of Matt Grothy, who was a great USF quarterback in the early run. And if he throws four touchdowns, he sets a new single season school record. So whether it's the conference or the school records, Quinn Flowers is a guy whose name is going to be littered all across these lists and rightfully so. He's a heck of a football player. A lot of people look at him and say, oh, he had a bit of a down year, but he can end it in a very big way by leading USF to a 10th win, which would be the first time in school history they go back to back in double digit wins. Wow, pretty impressive stuff. Certainly a great career for Quentin Flowers, but as a former player, how would you assess the level of motivation in this game? I mean, we talk about Quinton Flowers all the time, but there's a lot of other impressive seniors mm -hmm. on this roster as well. But, I mean, they lose to UCF. That ultimately keeps them out of the conference championship. And this is his last time suiting up along, along with a lot of these other guys. So is the motivation level really high to actually just kind of end this thing on a win? I think it's to get a win, and it's the whole we can set a record for this institution for consistency by getting the 10 wins for two years in a row. I think that is the old carrot that you dangle in front of the donkeys like the old dirt farmer, the my always Seinfeld line, I gotta slide in there. But that's how Charlie Strong's got to approach it. Guys, we can have a double digit win season here. And look, you start to rack up 10 win seasons and the next thing you know, recruits pay more attention, the national media pays more attention, and let's be honest, it'd be great for the American Athletic Conference if USF can jump up and get to 10. All right, well, there you have it. It's not the first meeting for these two head coaches, but the first time these two programs will meet, and they'll do so in the Birmingham Bowl on December 23rd. Kickoff is set for noon Eastern time on ESPN.